Hi, today's lesson is module two, topic D. We're starting topic D now, lesson 16, which is odd and even numbers. Odd and even numbers, going back to kindergarten. This should sound very familiar. However, we're going to use odd and even numbers to help us understand sums and products, and then we're even going to bridge it into division. So it's going to help us when we have these long divisions and we're trying to figure out what factors to use when we're looking for our quotient. This is all going to come into play. So it may seem like a very basic technique, odds and even numbers, but we're going to be using it to help us with division. So let's start by thinking what is an even number? Somebody tell me something about even numbers. Right, divided by 2 evenly without a remainder. What else can you tell me about even numbers? All even numbers. Mm -hmm. They go by 2. What do you mean they go by 2? What does that mean? All right, so zero. any number that ends in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 is an even number. Multiple, I think that's what you were trying to say. Multiples of 2. So you add this to your notes. An even number is any integer, a whole number, that can be evenly divided by 2. A number whose last digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. And all the multiples of 2. So let's use the same information to think about what an odd number is. What well, can you tell me an odd number is? Okay. Okay, that's what she said. Very good. So an integer that cannot be evenly divided by two. Any number whose last digit is 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9, and all the numbers that are not multiples of 2. So how, take the number 7. How do you make 7 even? You take off the S. Ha ah, ha. 7, make it even, take off the S. A little math humor for this rainy Friday afternoon. Okay. Maybe they can't all be golden. Okay. You're welcome. You're going to make your own prediction now. Have a nice weekend. What happens when we add two even numbers? Will we always get an even number for our sum? Write that prediction now on your paper. When I add an even number plus an even number, will my sum be even? You're going to make a guess on your paper now. Make a prediction, yes or no. You just made a claim, so now let's try to prove our claim, whether that's true or false. So look at exercise one in your notes. Why is the sum of two even numbers even? So they're telling us that's true. The sum of two even numbers is even. Well, let's prove it. So, for example, let's do 12 plus 14. Those are two even numbers. Let's draw a dot. So use a highlighter instead of your pencil because the pencil, you won't see dots, and drawing those dots are going to take too long. So I asked you to take out a highlighter earlier. Draw 12 dots to represent 12, plus 14 dots to represent 14. Then we're going to circle pairs of dots to see if everybody has a partner, which means it's an even number, or if there are any leftovers, which means the sum would be an odd number. So if I add all these dots together, it looks like all the dots will have a partner. Since there's none left over, our sum is going to be even, because we were able to make even groups of two. 
So your answer that you can write on the bottom, this will be true every time. Okay? Because two even numbers are added together, the even numbers will have never, ever, never have dots left over when we're circling pairs. Therefore, the answer will be even. Okay, so for your answer for part C, you could just state the sum of two even numbers is always even. So for part C, you're writing down the sum of two even numbers is always even. For part C, you're writing down the sum of two even numbers is always even. We were able to prove that with the picture. Now let's think about odd numbers. Why is the sum of two odd numbers also even? So an even plus an even may be an even. Now we're saying an odd plus an odd will also give me an even. Well, let's see. Let's come up with 11 plus 15 as our example. So use your highlighter to draw 11 dots plus 15 dots. Let's pair them up. If everybody has a partner, then our sum is even. Well, that one's left over. But now I have two dots left over. But with those two dots, I can make another group of two. So do I have any dots left over? No. So I was able to make even groups of two. So two numbers are added together will always result in an even sum, okay? Because every dot will have a partner. So for part C, you can write every time we add two numbers, your sum will be even. The sum of two odd numbers will always be even. The sum of two odd numbers will always be even. And then it asks why or why not, and on your notes is the explanation, looking at the groups of two. Oh. All right, we know even plus even is even. Odd plus odd is even. Let's see what happens when we do an even plus an odd. They're saying here an even and an odd will be odd. So let's see if we can prove that. Let's think of an example, 14 plus 11. So draw your dots, represent 14 plus 11, and we'll start circling groups. Well, I know my 14 is going to have even groups. Now my 11, my 11, I don't have an even group of two. In the sum, there's one left over. So if there's one left over, we know that the sum is odd. And this will be true every time because the odd number is always going to have one left over. Mm. Well, I now, we did 14 plus 11. Suppose we switched it around to 11 plus 14. Would that matter? Part D is asking if it matters. If I did 11 plus 14 instead of 14 plus 11, would that matter? What's that rule called that we could add in any order? What's that rule called? Oh, where's my highlighter? That's called the... Commutative property, and you should be writing that on your notes. Commutative property for part D. The order of the add-ins does not affect the sum. The order of the add-ins does not affect the sum. So whether it's odd plus an even, 
or an even plus an odd, either way we're still going to get an odd number. All right, so at the bottom of the page, let's sum it up. And after you write this down, you should highlight it because this is going to help you. These are your notes. Even plus an even is an even. Odd plus an odd is an even. Odd plus even equals odd. So you're writing this down on the bottom of page 66. And I want you to highlight it so you know that it's there to help you when you're studying and doing your homework. Okay? Those are the rules. We just proved that that will happen every time. These are theorems, truths. <coughs> you write those on the bottom of page 66. That's addition. We were talking about sums. That's addition. Let's think about multiplication and products. What are the rules for that? So the product of two even numbers is even, they're saying. Two even numbers is even. So let's prove that. Let's try 6 times 14. So on your notes, write 6 times 14. Well, that's multiplication. How can I write 6 times 14 with addition? Isn't that just 14 6 times? So now I want you to write this, 14 plus 14 plus 14 plus 14. Will those both have the same answer? Is yeah. the product of 6 times 14 the same as the sum? Yes. So if it's true for this one, it will be true for that one because those are the same. Those are equivalent. It means the same thing. All right, so now let's take a look at proving that. What do we know about the sum of even numbers? Even plus even plus even plus even plus even. What do we know? Even. Now remember when you're adding, first we, we go left to right, so that's an even. But now when I add another even, I'm going to still get even. Even plus another even, even. Even plus another even, even. Even plus another even, even. So our total sum is going to be even. So if the sum is even, we know that the product is going to be even. Because the sum and the product, we already said, are the same. Now, if you want to use dots, go ahead. Here are six groups of 14. So you could circle your 14s, and there won't be any left over. Okay? So the product of two evens is an even. Let's get some odds in there. They believe that the product of two odds is odd. This is different than the adding. So let's come up with an example like 5 times 15. So write 5 times 15. How do I keep losing my highlighters? We have 5 times 15. That's multiplication. Let's write it as addition. 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15. That would be well, let's find out. We know that the sum, what do we know about adding odd numbers? Odd plus an odd is even. So odd plus odd would give me even. But now I have to add an odd. So what's an even plus an odd? What was my rule? Odd. But now I'm adding another odd. So what's my rule? Odd plus odd is even. What's even plus an odd? Even plus an odd is 
odd. So my product is odd. Oh, that thing made another typo on the paper. Should be five fifteenths. Good catch. There's a there's another mistake in the closing. Remind me, I have to show you. There's a typo in there too that we caught. The teachers caught. We were working on this. All right. Again, when adding the add-ins together at the time, the answer goes back and forth between even and odd. And we end up with an odd answer. So the product of two odd numbers is odd, and we were able to prove that. We could also prove it with our model. Here I have five groups of 15. So if I circle off in my groups of 15, I'm always going to have one left over. So if I take my dots that are left over, I can group those and I can group those, but I still have a remaining dot. Okay? So now let's take a look at multiplying what's left. Even and odd. All right. So let's see what happens when we multiply an even and an odd. They're saying it's going to be even. So an example, 6 times 7. We know that's the same thing as 6, 7. So 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7 plus 7. What's the rule for adding an odd plus an odd? That gives me even. even. What's the rule for even plus an odd? Odd. odd. So let's see. Odd plus odd gives me even. Plus an odd? Plus an even? Plus an odd? Plus an odd? Even. So the product of an odd number and an even number is even. Because when we're adding two add-ins at a time, it's an even number. Okay? Since the sum and the product are the same, we know that the product will also be even. Again, we can prove this with the dots. Draw your uh, six groups of seven, circle your pairs, and you're always going to have a leftover because each one is an odd number. But we're able to continue to make even groups. So since there are no dots left over, we know it's going to be even. Okay? So now, let's sum it up. Add this to your notes on the bottom of page 67. And then you can highlight this as well. These are the rules for multiplying. Now, I still want you to write it on 67, though, okay? Because there's an error on page 68, and page 68 is your problem set that you're bringing home. So I still want you to write this because you'll internalize it better when you're writing it. So multiplying rules. The product of two even numbers is even. The product of two odd numbers is odd. The product of an even number and an odd number is even. And then you could highlight this. So you have the rules on page 66 highlighted. Now you have the rules on page 67 highlighted. Now, why are we doing all this? Why are we back to figuring out odds and even? How is this going to help me when we just did this whole unit on long division? Well, this will help us when you're looking at your quotient. You're looking at your divisor. Remember the divisor is the number on the outside. All right. What times my divisor is going to work? Well, you know your rules for multiplying now. If you have an even number as your product,
All right, I have an even number here, an even number here. What could this be? What could that be? What are our multiplication rules? An even times what's going to give me an even? Mm -hmm. It could be an even or an odd. So this one's not the best example that I should not have used. But what about for the odds? Okay, if it was odd, you would have known what to do. Six times what? Six times seven gives me 42. So the point is that these rules will help you a little bit when you're trying to find your other factor when you're using division, what you should be using in your quotient. Okay, so if the dividend is odd, then you know the factors must be odd. So if this was 49 and that's 7, this is odd and that's odd. So your factor in your quotient must be odd. Okay, my first example wasn't the best one and I apologize for that. So you know if that's odd and that's odd, that your quotient has to be odd. So you just ruled out half the numbers. What could it be? Well, half of them are off the list now. You have less possibilities if you're using guess and check. Okay? Now take a look on page 68, which is your um, problem set. There is a mistake. The state made a mistake on the packet. Please fix in the lesson summary. It says the sum of two odd numbers is odd. Fix that. Change it to even. There's a mistake. You're going to use these rules to help you with the homework. And there are a lot of questions today about, well, am I solving? Am I adding? Am I multiplying? And the answer is no. What I want you to do right now, your homework is just like your exit ticket. So let's do the exit ticket together so that you know how to do the homework. So turn to the exit ticket for lesson 16. You may want to have your notes out to help you. And let's read the directions. Determine whether each sum or product will be even or odd and explain. So all you're doing is writing even or odd and explaining why. So let's take a look at the first example. Those are some pretty big, long numbers, but what's the only thing that I have to look at? Right, the last digit. So this is an even number, and that's an odd number. What do I know about this? Oh, it's not going to come in front of the shade. What are my rules for adding an even and an odd? What's the answer going to be? Odd. So it's odd because the sum of an even number and an odd number is odd. So you're writing this down on your exit ticket for number one. You're using the rules to explain your answer. Now we'll take a look at number two. This is product now, so you want to look at your multiplying rules. Definitely want to have these rules out to help you. We have an even number times an even number. So looking at our notes, what's an even? Two even numbers, the product will be? Even. So even because the product of two even numbers is even. See how this is going? Do the next one. So number three, 
you have an odd plus an odd. So odd, the sum of two odd numbers is even according to our notes. So you write that down. All right, the next one, odd times an odd is odd because the product of two odd numbers is odd. We proved that earlier in the lesson. Now, number five is going to be a little bit different, and this is why I wanted to make sure we got to go over it before you start your homework. We have odd and even numbers. So let's look. The first two, we have what? We have an even and an odd. So what is the sum going to be? Even. Plus an even will be? plus an odd will be, what's an even plus an odd? Odd. Plus an even? Odd plus an even is what? Odd. So first, 12 plus 13 will be odd because even plus odd is odd. Step two, the odd number plus 14 will be odd because odd plus even is odd. Odd number plus 15 will be even because odd plus odd is even. So now you take that even number plus 16, I think I backwards one of them earlier on. Even plus 16 will be even because even plus even is even. So the answer is even. So I apologize. I did make an error back here. So that was odd plus even would be odd plus odd would be even plus even would be even. So that's exactly how your homework should look when you're setting it up. And that's all that you have to do. You don't have to solve. You don't have to find the sum. You don't have to find the product at all. Okay?